Lethal Company was a game that blew up out of nowhere in late 2023, peaking at 230,000 people playing it at once and holding a player count of over 100,000 players playing it consistently since December. How did a game developed by one lone developer accomplish all of this while other games developed by massive multi-billion dollar companies barely get player numbers close to it? I've put in 30 plus hours into the game and I have plenty to say about what this game was able to achieve. In case you somehow haven't played Lethal Company, it's four people, they land on moons and gather scrap from facilities to sell back to their company to meet quota. Each each time you meet quota, the quota keeps getting higher, and eventually, uh, when you don't meet quota, you get ejected. Oh yeah, and on these moons, there are critters around every corner that are actively trying to kill you. This simple but addictive gameplay loop is probably why this game is so big. It's fairly easy to understand and pick up, but as you play through the game, it gets progressively more difficult and you discover new critters that you have to look out for. And the inside of each level is procedurally generated, making each trip a completely unique experience from the last. The gameplay loop keeps people hooked by making them wonder what critters can we discover, what quota can we reach next. It also helps that the game is pretty cheap on Steam, only being $10. You know, I really do like my games being less expensive than a fucking air fryer. The game's also been out for only a couple months and there's already been two content updates to the game. Overall, it's looking green across the board for Lethal Company if I'm being honest. Uh, if you didn't know, Lethal Company actually peaked higher than COD's player count when they released Modern Warfare 3 on Steam. Now I know COD's player count was obviously higher when you include consoles, but this still means something. Lethal Company was produced by one dude. Activision is a multi-billion dollar company. I think the big reason that Lethal Company did so well is because uh, the developer really refined like the core gameplay loop to a T. While there have been countless games within the past like five years that have always have tried to do everything, the really good games of the past couple years have all focused on one core gameplay loop and stuck to it. I think the biggest example of this from like the AAA scene was Elden Ring, which was supposed to have like a giant city with tons of NPCs and stuff that you could talk to. They eventually scrapped that because there wasn't enough time and resources to flesh it out, so they basically just stuck to the game being an open world Dark Souls. And it's a masterpiece. We've had so many games recently, like last September, Starfield, where they try to do everything but they excel at nothing. Well, that's about all I have for you. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments, and if you want to kill me in real life, you know, just dislike the video. That's about all I got. See ya.